Welcome to a, another yoga flow with myself. This is gonna be a morning or even if you're halfway through the day and you need some energy, you need to wake your body up, you're feeling a little bit stiff, a little bit achy. It's a full body routine and we're gonna start by standing up where we are. I just want you to shake your arms, shake your wrists, just let everything feel heavy. At the same time as you're doing this, move your shoulders back, okay? We're gonna just start by doing some ankle rolls. So bring your right leg forward. I'd just like you to mobilize your ankle. 10 circles. And then the other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. With the same leg, I'd like you just to open up your hips. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other foot. Left foot forward. Ankle rolls. One, two, three, four, five. I've noticed in my left ankle it's a bit tighter. And actually, I actually had a little bit of crepitus. Other direction. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same with the hip. We're going to open our hip. Ten hip openers. I've actually noticed again on this left side that I am Definitely feeling a bit more tension and a little bit tighter compared to the side. Other direction. Two, three, four, nine, nine, ten. Okay, now let's engage our core. You can stand facing forward. I'm just going to stand to the side just to show you. You're going to come up onto your ankles and hold. Ten of these. Hold. Two. Now make sure when you're doing this, you tuck your pelvis in, engage your core. If you want to hold on to something, you can. But we're just activating our lower leg muscles whilst also engaging our core. Ten of these. Okay, on the last one, I'd like you to hold, reach your arms up, slowly bend down, having a little bit of distance between your ankles and your knees. I'd like you to come down into a squat position, hold. So you're on your toes, the balls of your feet. Hold, 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 hold. If you need to balance, please hold the side. Hold, 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 hold. Come up slowly, stay on your heels. Now, turn your heels towards each other as you face your toes out. I'd like you to squat down. If you need to rest, come down onto your heels. That's absolutely fine. If you can stay up there, that's great. Squeeze those glutes, engage your core. Don't let everything sink. Engage shoulders back. Hands on your hips or hands out in front of you for balance. I'd like you to come down and we're gonna squat down, staying on the balls of our feet. Hold. And then up. Ten of these. Hold. Up. Two. Keep going. Good. Now, last one, hold at the bottom. Stand the balls of your feet. Make sure your heels are close together. Hands out. And you're just gonna bounce. Two, three, four, six. Engage your core. 10, and come up. Okay, shake those legs. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more mobilized and you're feeling like your lower body has warmed up. We're now gonna move on to our upper body. Starting with, bring your hands out in front of you. I'll move to the side so you can see me. Extend your fingers, clap your hands to your palm. 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, good. 
wrists out in front of you, hands in a fist, 10 times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Other direction, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hands out to the side, again in a fist, and I'd now like you to reach your shoulders up to your ears. Hold, down, up, down, down, up, down, squeeze, hold, down, down, down. Now, I'd like you to ensure that your shoulders are pushed back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. I'd like you to do 10 circles with your shoulders, small. Imagine the size of a dinner plate. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now just switch direction. Whichever direction you are going, go the other way. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. Shake your upper body out, hopefully you're feeling more engagement up top and you're warmed up in your upper body. Come down to the mat. It's going to continue to work through our shoulder range of motion, but also starting with our wrists. So bring your hands facing outward, coming to a tabletop position. So the gap between both wrists here is quite small. It's probably about under 10 centimeters. If you're feeling pain and discomfort in this area, just stay here, don't progress. If you want to progress and if you feel like you can, slow circles, upper body, is drawing a circle over your wrists. Keep going. Make sure your spine is neutral and relaxed. Two more, slow. One more. Really push the weight of your body through the palm of your hand. Now other direction. Subtle movements. If you're feeling pain and discomfort, slow the movement down or just hold the position. Your range of motion will improve the more you do this exercise. Okay, fantastic. Now I'd like you to actually come onto your backside of your hand and I'd like you to put some pressure through your wrists. So, Bring your knees forward if you want to, if it's too much discomfort. You don't want to bend your elbows, you want to keep it straight and keep your spine neutral as well. It'll feel a little bit uncomfortable. Breathe, we're just gonna hold here. If you can, turn your elbows in towards each other. So that's elbows out, that's elbows in, and you're gonna hold. Relax your upper body, relax your shoulders. I know it's uncomfortable. Hold this position, deep inhale. Exhale. Remember, you can bring your knees in closer towards your hands if it's too uncomfortable. Keep going. One more deep breath in. Keep those elbows. There you go. Hold, 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 and relax. Bring your knees forward, and now just shake those wrists out. Really get the blood flowing to the area. Nice. Good. Let's work on our abdominals. Let's engage the core for the day. So come now into a tabletop position with your hands facing forward. Ensure that everything's in alignment. So weight of your shoulders is over your wrists. Your knees and your hips are in alignment. Come onto the toes. I'd like you to lift and engage your core by lifting your knees off of the floor for two, for like an inch or two away from the floor and hold the position. Everything must come from your core. Engage your core. Make sure your spine is not bent. So don't have your chin to your chest. Keep everything neutral. Keep those eyes forward. Lift up your knees and hold. Hold. Two. Breathe, yeah, engage the core. Flat back. Good. Hold, hold, hold and release. We're going to repeat this three times. If you want to make it more difficult, I'm going to give you another version. So lift up, hold. If you want to make it more difficult, bring your right leg in, keep your knee off the floor, right leg back, left knee in, left knee back. Keep repeating the process. 
ideally keep your hips everything in alignment so don't drop your hip as you bring it forward hold engage that core come on 10 more seconds 10 more knees hovering off the floor and lower well done one more time so you have two options there you've got two versions of advancing that exercise the version is up to you which one you want to pick balls of your feet inhale and engage the core lift the knees hold you can either hold 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 here or bring the knees forward good when you're doing this don't lift your back in the air keep your table top position through your spine imagine you carrying some glasses on your back some expensive crystal glasses they need to be kept secure and safe hold hold and release good well done sit back into a child's pose open your knees for me make sure your seat bones are on your heels and stretch forward breathe here try and bring your forehead towards the floor inhale through the nice stretch at the back of your shoulders and throughout your spine hold inhale and exhale great now just bring your knees in for me stay in a child's pose position extend those arms and i'd like you to bring your chest forward we're going to start doing some spinal rolls so as we inhale we're going to inhale keep your elbows down bring your chest forward slide forward and come onto the come onto your chest onto the floor and now as you exhale you're going to sit back into a child's pose position so this movement actually makes a lot more sense when you just speed the movement up a little bit so watch me we're going to inhale we're going to come forward and then exhale sit back so inhale come forward you can either stay with your chest on the floor or come up into a baby cobra sit back let's repeat this 10 times inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale and now sit back into a child's pose position extend everything lovely okay and now come into a normal tabletop position and we're going to do a downward facing dog so for your downward facing dog make sure that everything is in alignment shoulders over your wrists your knees in alignment with your hips engage your core toes on the floor and you're just going to lift your buttocks up to the air that's it you're going to hold the position if you can't get your heels down just stay in this position for me here and just start to walk with your dog. That's it. Two. Nice. Good. You should feel a nice stretch at the back of your hamstrings. And actually the fact that we're increasing the movement through our ankles and through our lower body is a great activation exercise. Now just hold as low as you can, whether that's your heels on the floor or up here. I just like you to hold. I'd like you to engage your core and I'd like you to take two deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. As you exhale, try and push those heels further into the floor. Inhale again. Exhale. Push those heels into the floor. That's it. Hold it there. Good. Now you have two options. You can walk forward or you can jump, landing on your seat bones. Cross your legs. I'd like you to join me in a seated position on the floor. Make sure you're central to the mat. And we're just going to do a little bit more on the core. 
So for this exercise, I'd like you to lean your upper body back, engage your core. So no arching of the spine, keep it straight. Engage that core, make sure it's like a plank. Okay, and then I'd like you to, two options, either hands on your side as you lean back and lift the legs, straighten the legs or bent. Or the other option is to be more advanced, lift your hands away either side and hold. Really engage that core for me. So I'm gonna go into this position here, squeeze everything together, hold, hold, hold. Now we're gonna slowly lower everything, our back and our legs together. Keep your feet off the floor. Keep your chin away from your chest and your head away from the floor. If you wanted to, you can come down, take a break. If not, stay with me, engage. Hold, hold, hold. 10 more seconds. No strain for the back of your neck and relax. Well done. Now coming up onto your side for me. Sit up, feet cross-legged onto the floor. I'm just gonna finish off with some deep breathing exercises. And before we start, just check in with yourself. How are you feeling compared to the start of the session? How does your body feel? Let's cross your feet, hands on your knees, palms facing up, and I'd like you to inhale. And as you inhale, I'd like to expand your diaphragm. So not just your lungs expanding, your rib cage, but also your abdominals. Expand everything together. Inhale for four. Hold and exhale for five. We're going to repeat that process, but this time as you exhale, I'd like you to say the word um, okay? Really clear out all that stagnated air, oxygen in your body. Inhale. Exhale. Mm. Inhale. Exhale. Mm. Inhale and return your breath to normal. Both hands up to the ceiling, inhale, palms together, hands on your heart, bow down to yourself and thank yourself for doing something good for your body today. Have an awesome rest of your day.